Today, I want to talk about my Fisher trifecta. Uh, it is, I'm going to post this video on a Friday, so it is Fisher Friday because that's a thing us goofy enthusiasts do. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's a whole different discussion as to why do we do like Carbon Fiber Friday or Fisher Friday or Tonto Tuesday. Like, I don't know, it keeps things fun for sure. You know, I do Timascus Tuesday sometimes. Um, <laughs> You know, I don't know. I think you can do like Medford Monday. You can do like you can pick all these things and it's kind of goofy, but it's also kind of fun in the hobby to just have some fun and don't take it too seriously. I think that's one of the things I really preach a lot, if you will, is don't take this hobby, this is it really? Yeah, I guess the hobby is the best word. Don't take it too seriously. Let's have some fun. So let's just have a quick little discussion about my Fisher trifecta. I'm super honored to have all of these. Uh, so we'll start in order of me getting them, I think is probably the right way to go. And my first experience was with the Todd Fisher Senior Archangel. I got this used from a buddy on Facebook who I just met recently in person at the California Custom Knife Show in 2021. It was awesome. He lives down in Southern California. I live in Northern California. We talk and chat all the time. And I was able to pick this up from him about a year ago at the time of the filming. So uh, super cool. I'm super honored to have this. Um, and he gave me a, a decent deal. He, he, he gave me a good deal and I'm very happy with that. This has become one of my kind of user knives. And, and you can see here that the clip is kind of scratched up and some of that was there beforehand. I'm not going to lie. And that was okay. That's why the price was the price. And I think most of this though is from me because the corner of your pocket, my jeans start to kind of come apart and it's got that rivet there at the, the edge of your pocket. And inevitably that rivet will come out and scratch some knives. So there's certain knives that I cannot carry in certain jeans because that rivet's already showing and it will scratch this up. I made that mistake with Alex from the Knifebox channel. He loaned me a knife for review. And I put it in my pocket because I want to check the pocket, you know, carryability and see how the pocket clip works and things like that. And I did the video and I talked about some scratches on it. And he goes, dude, I don't think those scratches were there when I sent it to you. So I did some looking and checking and yeah, sure enough, I had scratched his knife. Okay. Alex and I are good friends. So it wasn't a huge deal. I went on eBay. I was able, because it was discontinued. It was, you know, they were hard to find that particular knife. It was the Wee Knives um, Shamwiri. Shamwari. It was the production version of the Shamwari by Gareth Bull. So I found one online, was brand new on eBay, and I overpaid for it, and I sent him both as a, I'm sorry, and it had scratched it up. So he took the scratched up one, sent it over to somebody to customize and made it, you know, it worked out perfectly, and he ended up taking parts and pieces from both, making two knives the way he wanted, and he sent me the original one back, like one that was just normal configuration. He sent that back to me. And uh, there you go. So I had a knife and then I ended up selling it and took a little bit of loss or whatever. But as, as a guy who runs a channel and takes in people's knives, one, now I'm super careful about that and that's not going to happen again. But two, if something happens to a knife that a viewer loans in, I'm going to make it right. Like, just know that. Okay, so the Frank or the Todd Fisher Senior Archangel 
And this is the full size version. It makes a couple of different sizes. Um, was my first experience with the Fishers. And I had seen them online. I had seen the Archangel. I had seen the battle. I had seen some of TJ's stuff and whatnot. Which brings me to TJ, which is Todd Fisher Jr. This is one of the first King Kamehameha's that he made. Now, I had some other experience with TJ's knives from another good buddy of mine who I bought the battle from. He had loaned me a couple of his knives. Uh, he loaned me a Kamehameha, which is slightly smaller, and a Launch, also from TJ. Full dress, super expensive, super cool, awesome knives. And I did videos on those. And I have a TJ playlist down below. And so I really liked what TJ was putting together. And right at that time, he also sent me a Cobra prototype. And the Cobra was going to be TJ's, I don't want to call it production version, but I did a whole video, a couple of videos on the Cobra also. But it was something he was going to make 10 of and kind of offer out ahead of time, right? So TJ didn't want to call them custom because he was making 10 in two different variations and you would pre-order. And so I talked to TJ on the phone. I got a lot of information. I helped him kind of launch. That. I don't know if I want to say I helped him launch that, but he and I talked about price. I did a video on the prototype and announced that these were going to be for pre-sale starting on whatever, on Friday or something, whatever it was, right? So in that regard, I helped spread the word, I guess. Uh, and in so doing, as TJ and I were talking on the phone about all the details, he goes, well, I have one. It's almost ready out of those 10. Did you want one? Well, I said, sure, <laughs> of course. And so he made that one and finished it up pretty quickly for me and got it shipped out. So there were nine others to sell. Now I have since, I'll be honest, I have since sold the Cobra when I was mass selling things to afford the battle. So then fast forward to my first interactions with Frank. Well, actually I bought this from my buddy uh, used, but I did talk to Frank about it before I bought this. Uh, so I did reach out to Frank, ask some questions. Hey, is he still building them and whatnot? And could he build me a battle? Would he be interested in building a battle? And he gave me a, a price on a very basic version, very similar to the Archangel, you know, configuration. Oops. Um, with just titanium, maybe a carbon fiber inlay and things like that. And he gave me a price which was not much cheaper. I mean, it was it was substantially cheaper than this full dress version, but uh, it, it wasn't half the price, you know, so to speak. It was a little bit less than half. 60% um, the price, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. I'd have to do the math. But anyway, suffice it to say, I didn't really want a user daily model battle for the price. I wanted this full dress one because I was getting it at a good deal. Frank told me what this cost brand new. And so I was getting a deal for sure. No question. And I reached back out to Frank and said, Hey, just so you know, I'm buying this one from our buddy instead. And maybe I'll get a normal user one from you at some point in the future. Okay. So I bought this from my buddy and it was fantastic. It's, it's still to this day and I've had it since March of 2021 because I bought it for myself for my birthday. Give, you know, give or take, I think I got it a, a week away from my birthday. And still to this day here in November of 2021, six eight months later, it still has changed me. I have not bought many knives since this knife. And I haven't bought anything substantial. The most substantial knife I've bought since this was the Ryu. And I had wanted a Ryu for many, many years. So, but nothing substantial since I bought this. It literally changed my knife collecting mentality. I... 
I don't know that I could get anything that's beyond this. This is the pinnacle of my collection. Absolutely no question. And once I got it, and before I did the full video and stuff, I talked to Frank and he gave me a lot of details about all the different materials. And I'm not even going to try to remember what they all are right now. But yeah, you can go back. I'll link the video down below on this one, which is actually I did in 4K. So you could throw that one up on your big screen and watch it. Uh, it's worth it. Trust me, I may start filming all of them in 4K. I kind of missed the boat when I did my 4K subscriber thank you video. I, I should have been thinking ahead and filmed that in 4K, and I just didn't. Dang it. Missed opportunity there. Um, so anyway, yeah, the battle changed me. Uh, like I said, this one gets carried a lot. This one, not so much just because of the way it fits in my pocket. It's just pretty broad here. So it's not, it, it just takes up a lot of pocket room. You know, the battle is super pocket friendly, not in the jeans I'm wearing today because the jeans I'm wearing today are contributing factor to the scratches there. So I am careful about when I carry the battle in which jeans that I'm wearing. Um, and I'm careful about where I'm going because if it's a place where I'm going to use the knife for anything substantial, I'm probably not going to take the battle because I don't want to mess it up. Although I do carry it. I absolutely carry it. I carry almost all of my knives. So I don't really have safe queens. Um, the Phil Harveys, the big, massive, you know, two pound peacemaker. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't carry that one. So I, I take that to barbecues and EDC meetups and knife shows and things like that. But now it's, it's not an EDC knife. So, but there you go, guys. The Fisher Trifecta, which I am just super honored to have. There is another, I do have a fixed battle from Frank, um, but that is out at a Kydex sheath maker who's making a sheath for it right now. Um, or I think he's going to start it this week or next week or something. I don't know. I shipped it to him already. So he has it. So he can try to figure out how to put a sheath on a blade like this. <laughs> Go put him to the challenge a little bit. So yeah, I do have that one. And I am thinking about possibly another Archangel um, with a Samai blade or something a little bit fancier because Todd Sr. can do some amazing stuff. Or maybe I'll just send him this one and see if he can put a nice Samai blade in this old user one. Because I'm not afraid to use uh, Damascus blades. And this is a good carry knife that could be spruced up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to him about that. But all right, there you go, guys. If you got any questions, please let me know down below. And uh, there you go. Happy Friday um, as of the day this is going live anyway. And uh, have a great day and an awesome weekend. Thanks, guys.